Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog on our channel, Our Eyes Your Eyes. Today is a special vlog. You're going to see it next week because finally my mother arrived in Japan and we have to go to Haneda Airport to get her, to take her. In order to start this video, we remind you to subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell, follow us on our social media and share this video because she's back. So I said, it's time to go. So what do we say? Uh, during uh, the trip, uh, I'm going to tell you what happened to my mother because, of course, uh, she had uh, some of these adventures. Um, I'm going to tell you, right? Says, uh, oh, yes, sir. It's time to go. Okay, guys, uh, we reached the uh, Haneda airport. Uh, now it's time to wait uh, because uh, my mother still uh, didn't arrive. But anyway, you need to know that my mother lost the flight, <laughs> the first flight from uh, Paris to Tokyo. She lost that flight uh, and fortunately, after five hours, uh, she could catch the other airplane. Man, yeah, what she was mm -hmm. lucky. So now we have to wait for her. She was supposed to come um, at 12 o'clock, uh, around 12 o'clock, but now it's uh, almost 7 p.m. So she delayed uh, almost uh, five hours. But now we are here and uh, she's coming. Um, the good point, uh, it was that uh, the airplane uh, was uh, starting uh, from Paris the same day. So she didn't have to wait uh, one more day or two more days uh, in order to catch the other flight. Unfortunately, they have uh, some empty seats. Uh, so that was amazing. Uh, now I'm going to show you one thing, guys, uh, especially here from Haneda. International departures, right? International departures. Yes. Look, uh, I'm going to show you. It seems Christmas. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Uh, look at this. Uh, amazing. Why we are in the international departures and not arrivals? It's because the sensei has to buy something to eat uh, that you can find it only in this place. Uh, sensei, what do you have to buy to eat? <laughs> Every time I come to Haneda Airport, yes. uh, I want to eat uh, yakiniku roll. <laughs> have you ever heard it, guys? Uh, maybe we are going to show you later in the future, but uh, the sensei loves it. Ah, yes, during the walkthrough last time in the domestic uh, part, uh, in the domestic area, we told them, ah, we can't go to the international uh, side of the airport, but the sensei wanted to buy something mm. in particular. It was the yakiniku roll. Now it's time to eat it. Look, here there are a lot of typical restaurants, especially in that area. Now I'm going to show you, of course, and it's pretty nice. So guys, if you start an international flight, remember to come in this area and you can eat something before your departure. Or if you don't like what they give you inside of a flight, you can first eat here and then you're free and then you're ready to take your flight and enjoy. Now here there are also some gadgets. So if you wanted to buy something before your flight, look at firefighters. Or Sakura, <laughs> okay. Hanami is coming. We have to oh. find a spot uh, this year. Wow, guys, look at these uh, traditional socks. Uh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> wow, this one with the Fuji. So nice, this T-shirt. Uh, as if it's Christmas. Uh, as I was uh, telling you, if you come this uh, side uh, of uh, Aneda Airport, uh, you can find uh, many tiny restaurants uh, in which they give you lots of uh, things. <laughs> Like a Domino Pizza. <coughs> Japanese style pizza. Yes, because, uh, Sensei, do we have in Italy salmon pizza? No, I don't know. No, exactly. So we reached this restaurant and this is what the sensei is going to buy. Let's say, sensei, that it's a little bit spicy, right? Mm, yes. And what's the name of this uh, restaurant? This is a Yakiniku Champion. Yakiniku Champion. So if you come to Haneda Airport, international departure, would you recommend it, sensei? Yes, yes. Perfect. In the summer minutes after, ta -ta, we bought it. Of course, guys, as you can see, it's well packed. So you can also eat it uh, inside of the airplane, right? So I if so. Uh, people want to eat, uh, don't mm. worry because it's uh, packed. How many pieces? What do you remember? Six or eight? Eight pieces. Eight pieces. Oh. Are you happy? Yes. Okay, good. Amore, the official <laughs> store of Tokyo Ni Zero oh. Ni Zero. It seems to be in the Edo period. <laughs> Amore, it's not a Taisho period like a Demon Slayer, but... <laughs> we are still in this area. Sensei. 
They built a bridge. Uh. Bridge. I can't believe it. Uh, can we go upstairs? Uh? Yes, sir. Amazing, okay. Wait a second, uh, we take you upstairs. Uh. Guys, we reached the upstairs. Uh, can you believe it? Uh, unbelievable. Uh, let's go through the bridge. Uh. Wow, look, you have also the history of Edo, that means uh, Tokyo, <laughs> so beautiful. And on the other side, <laughs> you have uh, people making uh, the check-in, <laughs> look over there. Wow, look at that, guys. So the first bridge is... Okay, okay. That bridge is based on the original wow. Nihonbashi. 51 meters. For example, you can sit here and have your lunch, your snack before starting your trip. I think it's really nice because it really reminds of Edo period. You can also see a great museum here in Tokyo that is the Edo Museum. I highly recommend this museum to you guys because if you love history, Japan history, you should go and visit it. He is sensing his own country. I think, yes, they are all Emma. Look, guys, uh, all the messages and, and wishes in different languages. So many. Look, they have also some sort of a manga characters. <laughs> Let's see if I can find Italian. It's difficult because I think that all of the people write in English. Oh, finally, we found a message in Italian. Good health and love for the entire world. Ah, eccola, eccola. Mm? Eccola. Eccola. Ciao. Ci siamo, eccola! Ciao mamma, come stai? Stanca, eh? Stanca. Molto, molto stanca. Ma ce l'hai fatta? Ma ce l'ho fatta. Saluta a tutti, ciao! Saluto tutti quanti, tutti quanti che mi hanno seguito, ringrazio a tutti quanti. Hello guys, thank you for waiting for me, thanks for the support. Here I am. Dobbiamo continuare la nostra avventura. And we will start our adventure as promised. Iniziamo con la nuova puntata yes. numero 9. Yes, exactly with episode 9. Oh, ciao, sono arrivata da E come no? Ecco, every time my mother says hi to my husband, it's always like that, always. Okay guys, we are at home and you don't know this. Now I'm going to show you something unbelievable. My mother brought all this stuff because in Italy you need to know that the 13th of December we celebrate Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia is uh, a saint uh, woman. Kids uh, believe that uh, this woman on the 13th of December is going to bring chocolates, sweets, candies, whatever. Look, um, after one month, uh, Santa Lucia arrived also in my house. Uh, look at this. Of course, uh, also the sensei is going to eat uh, something from this. Thank you, mama. Thank you so much. Prego. Con tanto, tanto piacere, anche quest'anno è arrivata Santa Lucia, anche se è un po' in ritardo. Yes, she said that even if it's too late, but Santa Lucia came to my house as well. Okay, guys, for this special vlog, that is it. Hope you enjoyed. Sensei, thank you so much for uh, keeping this up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes. And on Wednesday, episode 9 of Shingeki no Kyojin with mom. Stay tuned. Yes. Bye bye. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on our social media. Bye, guys. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.